हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस सेकेंड यूनिट दैट इज हाईवे पेमेंट एंड मटेरियल ओके दिस इज अ सेकेंड यूनिट ऑफ योर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन इंजीनियरिंग एंड अ फर्स्ट लेक्चर ओके सो वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन फर्स्ट द फर्स्ट यूनिट एंड देन वी स्टडीड अबाउट द वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन फैसिलिटीज देन वी स्टडीड अबाउट द हाईवे इंजीनियरिंग okay we have studied the basics and we have studied the geometrics of the highway engineering now coming to the material and pavement what are its material and what are the properties and what are its how is the pavement of highway is okay so that we are going to study in this class okay in this unit so in this uh, in this lecture today we are going to study the types of bitumen and properties of bitumen so before going to the types of bitumen and properties of bitumen first let us understand what is bitumen okay first let us understand what is bitumen right what is bitumen bitumen is nothing but a binding material first thing you have to write in your definition when whenever they ask define bitumen and write its properties or explain the types of bitumens if they say then first point in your definition of bitumen should be bitumen is used as a binding material okay next it is a complex organic material either occurs naturally right it is a complex organic material and it occurs either naturally or obtained during distillation of petroleum means if you during the mining right during the excavations of the ores of different minerals that time you can get the bitumen directly or sometimes some raw material that you get that raw raw crude oil you get or raw oil that you get from the beneath the surface that you have to do distillation means heating up of the raw oil so that the lighter uh, particles or the elements will evaporate and the heavier materials will will remain there itself so by doing this process you will get the bitumen right you will get the bitumen next is it is a hydrocarbon remember this it is a organic complex organic material and it is either available naturally or artificially by distillation process petroleum distillation that is fractional distillation okay there is fractional distillation and it is a hydrocarbon what is hydrocarbon a compound which has carbon and hydrogen in it okay that is called as hydrocarbon okay understanding what i am saying okay it is insoluble in water keep this in mind it is not soluble it will not dissolve in water when you add sugar to the water it gets mixed up and your sugar will not be visible to that means that means your sugar has dissolved in it okay and you will get the taste of the sugar sweetness in the water right when you it get dissolves same way when you mix bitumen into the water bitumen will not mix into the water properly right it will remain bitumen itself okay it will not become a syrup like a sugar syrup right bitumen will not mix it properly but it is soluble in carbon di carbon di sulfate okay it is carbon di it is not by it is di sulfate it is soluble it will mix in the carbon di sulfate this you to keep in mind next it is available in solid and semi solid state and it might be black or brown in color which color it is 
it might be in black or brown in color depending upon the quality of vitamin okay depending upon the type of vitamin and minerals available there are different types of vitamin right so depending upon that the color will change a little bit next is components or the contents of vitamin that vitamin contains 87% of carbon as i said it is a hydrocarbon means there should be a hydrogen and carbon with some extra other elements might be there might not be there it depends upon the type of uh, material right so in this case there is 87% of carbon and 11% of hydrogen okay and 2% of oxygen in it okay if this content is there then it is a bitumen if there is 87% of carbon 11% of nitro hydrogen and 2% of oxygen means it has 87% it has it is bitumen right these are the components of the bitumen right next is now once you understood what is bitumen what is bitumen it is a binding material it is an organic complex organic compound with naturally occurring and artificially also we can get it by fractional distillation right it is not soluble in water it is soluble in carbon disulfate it is available in solid and semi solid state and the color of it may be brown to black depending upon the properties of it right and the contents of bitumen is how much this 87% of carbon 11% of hydrogen and 2% of oxygen in it so that is what the bitumen is right next is types of bitumen cut back bitumen bituminous emulsion and asphalt these are the three that you have in your syllabus right another two are there which are the advanced and recent ones that are we are using it that we have a lot of plastic waste right so to use reuse the plastic we are going to uh, use it in the bitumens right it is called as plastic uh, bituminous uh, pyramids or another is rubber cum bitumen where the rubber the tire rubber is used to prepare a bit bitumen that has been added and the bitumen content is reduced so that we can save bitumen and use the waste in this right these are the two that you don't have in your syllabus so don't worry about it just concentrate on these three types of bitumen okay the first type that is cut back bitumen right the first is the cut back bitumen this cut back bitumen contains 80% bitumen and 20% solvent solvent may be anything kerosene naphthalene spirit right these are called as solvents where the material get dissolved right it contains 20% of solvents and 80% of bitumen in it cut back bitumen when bitumen is mixed with comparatively a volatile solvent means volatile means when it comes in contact to, into the atmosphere that uh, solvent will evaporate like petrol right you take the petrol in your hand right it will evaporate in your hand and makes your uh, hand cooler right so that is what is called volatile volatile means it is flammable when you, when you bring fire nearer to it it will catch a fire and it will evaporate in the atmosphere when it comes in contact with atmosphere so you are going to what you are going to do is you are going to take 80% of bitumen and 20% of solvent and you mix it thoroughly okay it gets mixed properly okay now that you are going to apply over the surface right okay you are going to apply it over the surface so once you apply it on the some surface 
what happens is the volatile solvents which are there okay that will come in contact with the atmosphere and that will evaporate okay that will evaporate what will remain below will be the 80% bitumen will remain below and that is going to be coated over the aggregates okay that is going to be coated over the aggregates so why not directly apply the bitumen why we are mixing it with the solvent okay and then applying it and then allowing to the solvent to evaporate so what happens is so when you mix this bitumen into the solvents the temperature effect over the bitumen is lesser as i said it is available in the state of what it is available in the state of solids or semi solids right before uh, mixing it it should be in the liquid state the it should be in the 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 viscosity should be lesser the, before mixing it with the solvent okay it should be in the liquid state right we have to heat it and then mix it because if we get go to the uh, colder regions where the temperature is very less the when you directly bring the bitumen it will starts get hardening there itself before applying before applying the bitumen the bitumen gets starting starts hardening so to avoid that we have to mix the bitumen with the solvent so that it doesn't get uh, solidified very faster rate right and once we apply it the uh, solvent will evaporate till then the bitumen is get applied over the surface and it gets hardened there itself so for that purpose in the to up, to use the bitumen in the colder regions we have to use the cut back bitumen understanding what i am saying we are mixing the bitumen 80% bitumen and 20% solvent mixing it thoroughly and applying it over the surface when you apply over the surface the solvent the volatile solvents will evaporate in the atmosphere and the bitumen will remain on the surface that will coat over the aggregates and it gets harder right that is why the cut back bitumen is used in the colder regions the presence of volatile solvent will reduce the viscosity itself okay when you mix with the because it is solvent it will try to uh, reduce its viscosity and it will try to make it liquidify right so that the workability will improve you can you work it properly with the bitumen the bitumen cut back bitumen is used for in the road construction works the volatile solvents gets evaporate leaving behind the bitumen and to develop the develop the binding properties right once the volatile solvents is evaporated the property of bitumen is binding the material so it binds the material that is what is cut back bitumen is understood next is emulsion right next one is emulsion so what is emulsion bitumen emulsion is a liquid product in which bitumen is suspended in the finely divided conditions in an aqueous aqueous medium and a stabilizer and stabilized by a suitable material in this case what we are going to do is we are going to heat the bitumen properly right what we are going to do is we are going to heat the water okay and you are going to add a stabilizing agent or emulsifier to stabilize the bitumen when you are mixing it with the water because it is it doesn't dissolve so it will try to be unstable to bring it to the stable condition we are going to add some stabilizing agents it is also called as emulsifiers or the emulsifying agents right we are going to mix those both in the first process right at a, in a proper proportions at a required temperature 
वॉट एवर टेम्परेचर इज प्रिस्क्राइब डिपेंडिंग अपॉन टाइप ऑफ इमल्शन द ग्रेड ऑफ इमल्शन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द ग्रेड ऑफ विटामिन एंड इमल्शन द टेम्परेचर इज डिसाइडेड ओके सो यू आर टू मिक्स दॉट हॉट वॉटर एंड द इमल्सीफायर फर्स्ट राइट वंस यू मिक्स इट प्रॉपरली यू गोइंग टू यू गोइंग टू एड विटामिन टू इट यू गोइंग टू एड विटामिन टू इट ओके द मिक्सर ऑफ वॉटर एंड द इमल्सीफायर इज मिक्सड विद द विटामिन thoroughly in a drum now the mixture of uh, water and emulsifier is mixed with the vitamin in, in the next part that is vitamin is mixed with the emulsifier right emulsion once you mix it what will happen in the next case when you thoroughly mix mix the solution there is a formation of globules okay if suppose this is your globule of water okay if there are a bubble of water in which there is a vitamin in between let's know what i'm saying the bituminous particles are been divided okay separated and and there is a coating or filming is done of water this happens because of the emulsifier this will not this could not have been happened if there it, if there was not emulsifying agent because of the emulsifying agent it has been stable and due to the mixing properly it divides the bitumen and there is a coating of there is a coating of what the emulsion and water it mostly consists of water the con con content might be 60 40 60% bitumen and 40% water Of forty percent bitumen and sixty percent water, depending upon the grade of bitumen that you are going to use. This is a globule. Okay, this is the globule. What we are talking about. There is a formation of globules in which there is a bitumen and it is covered with the water. Okay, you can say an emulsion covered by an emulsion because it it has the water has emulsifying agent in it itself, right? in the in this uh, em, bituminous emulsion okay when you apply this bituminous emulsion on the road the globules the the formation the globules right this is a globule and this is your emulsion right so once you apply it on the surface okay once you apply it on the surface this glob the covering or the emulsion covering will break okay that will break and and there is a application once it breaks the bitumen will get spread over the surface once the you apply once you apply the bituminous emulsions on the road the globules will break and the bitumen is applied on the surface okay once that is applied the remaining water content what is there will evaporate in the atmosphere right and what remains below is bitum okay so this is useful in the case where repair and maintenance work is to be done right whenever there is small patch of work is to be done you do not need to to heat the bitum in bring it to site and heat it right it is ready just bring it pour it automatically it sets off right so this becomes easy and fa at a faster rate you can do the repair and maintenance works for this purpose you, it is used for the repair works okay this is usually used for repair and maintenance works you can see that can you see this this is what is a bitumen and the grayer portion you can see that is an emulsion see you can see from the sides it is coated with the emulsion here right all the small small bituminous particles are been covered by or been covered by emulsions right 
this is how it looks when you see through the microscope the covering is done over the vitamin this is this would happen only when because of the emulsifying agent because it is stabilizes the bitumen and this will allows the water to coat over the bitumen if it emulsifier would not be used then there, there would be no coating over the bituminous material right once the bitumen is applied over the uh, surface and there is a break of the globule then the what will happen then the bitumen will uh, get uh, applied over the surface and the water will the water droplets will evaporate these are the water droplets right this which will stand over it this is also microscopic image where the micro uh, droplets will be of water will be there which will evaporate in some time right next type of bitumen is asphalt right asphalt is nothing but a type of bitumen which has around 7 to 4% of bitumen okay asphalt is a mixture of aggregates both fine and coarse and a bituminous binder when you mix bitumen aggregates fine aggregates and coarse aggregate that mixture is called as asphalt okay so you can nowadays you can see that uh, ready made uh, aggregates binded with the bitumen is brought and just laid with the or uh, paved with the pavers right a truck of um, bitumen uh, uh, mixed uh, aggregates are brought and just laid paved over the surface right so that is called asphalt the bitumen is the binding material here the binding material will be around 4 to 7% understood and the uh, you can say the pro the properties of asphalt can be varied depend uh, the strength of the asphalt can be varied depending upon the requirements depending depending upon its mix because there are mixture of aggregates right of fine aggregates coarse aggregates and the bitumen depending upon the requirements the mix is differed and the properties of the asphalt can also be changed okay that will become more economical whenever we want of a higher quality uh, roads you can use the higher grade of mix when you require a low quality of roads you can go for lower mix right to get a desired results so that is what is asphalt is now coming for the properties of bitumen first property of the of the bitumen is adhesion to bind the different materials together right bringing the positive and negative charge okay materials and bind them together binding of two different materials together is called adhesion that is a property of a binding bituminous material next is waterproof since the bitumen is insoluble in water because it doesn't get soluble in water okay it will repel the water it will not uh, mix get mixed with the water right as oil will not get mixed with the water it will stand on the water surface right same way the water will stand over the bituminous surface here because bitumen is heavy the water will stand above and the bitumen will be will be below as that in the case of oil what will happen if you pour oil on the water the oil film will be formed over the water surface same way the water will stand over the bituminous layer okay so it doesn't allow the water to stand and it acts as a good sealant or waterproof and then is strength the strength of the pavement mostly depends upon the aggregates but there is a wider role 
of the bitumen to spread the load efficiently over the beneath layers or the underlying layers of the pavement okay it also helps in spreading the uh, or uh, you can say distributing the vertical dis distribute the traffic loads properly next is durability bitumen has a lifespan of 20 years if it is properly maintained throughout the pavement life if you maintain the bituminous roads or the flexible pavements okay this bitumen will last for around 20 years the maintenance is little bit more in this case okay if you maintain it properly it will last for 20 years so it is durable and it is versatile bitumen is very easy to use okay the bitumen is very easy to use and very easily available and it is because it can be easily available below the ground okay through the crude oil by distillation you will get the bituminous in huge quantities so it is very very easy to use and very easily available next is economical it is available in cheaper rates all over the group because during the uh, refineries of petroleum when the distillation process goes you will get the bitumen in a larger quantity you will also uh, it is available in the natural form right so it becomes cheaper in all over the world it is cheaper it is available so it is cheaper in trade okay these are the some of the properties of the bitumen okay we have studied today what what is bitumen types of bitumen that is your cutback bitumen emulsion bitumen or bituminous emulsions and asphalt and we have studied the properties of the bitumen this is for today's lecture of the second unit okay in the next class we will be studying about the soil stabilization and principles of soil stabilizations